Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to another video in our series on classic guitar riffs. Today we're looking at the beautiful introduction to Father and Son, an international hit for Cat Stevens way back in 1970. Now this track featured acoustic guitars both on rhythm and lead and the rhythm player simply played a G major to a C major chord using the conventional string grips. So have a listen to this. happens four times in a row. That's the rhythm guitar player's part. Now when the rhythm player sustains that C major chord, the lead player played the notes C to G and C to A and let the C note sustain. So if you can imagine as the rhythm player did this, the lead player went, but separate tracks, separate playing on the original recording. Very hard to do live because there's no real easy or there is no string grip that is going to really let you duplicate the, the relaxed lead sound when this inversion of a C chord is playing in the background. So today I'm going to show you my slightly altered version of that which lets me play both parts or a variation of both parts with the one acoustic guitar. So just have a listen to this. You can see, and I do that three times or four times in total, but just before the singing track comes in, you just play the G to C like on the original recording. It's not time to make a change. So just before the first verse starts, I don't play the high G version of the C chord. So you'll notice throughout my variation on the riff, I actually play the C chord that has high G in it, not high E. So the conventional C chord and my variation of it. And all I'm doing is adding G on the third fret of the E string. Now that lets me go from a G chord to a C chord like this. And it lets me play C to G, this time on the B string for the C on the first fret. It's G on the E string. So when the original track here it was warmer because the C was played on the third string, a fatter string, a wound string. The third string is always going to, the C on the third string is going to sound warmer than a plain string. But I'm not worried about that. I'm still playing the same notes, C to G. And what I do then is I simply allow that fingering of a C chord to slide up two frets. So really now it's a D with an added fourth chord is a beautiful chord as long as you don't emphasize that wonderful clash there between F sharp and G. Remember a D chord is D, F sharp and A. The fourth note in a D scale is G. So if we add a fourth to a D chord, we actually have an F sharp and a G together. Now if we play that chord in an arpeggiated style, like a piano player style, it's an absolutely beautiful sounding chord. If we thrash away at it like a normal C chord, there's going to be a bit of aggro there. Now if you watch when I actually play my version of the riff, I don't strum any of those notes when I go up to the D position. I just let the strings ring on. All I'm doing is focusing on the B and the E string to play the lead riff. Just watch this again. So what you hear in the background is just the quite sustained shift from those low strings up there. And the third string is still ringing on. So you sort of hear this in the background. On the lead line, unlike the Cat Stevens version where it stays C to G and C to A, I'm happy to let the C slide up to D as I hit that A. I'm deliberately happy to let that happen. So listen to this again. creates a real interesting sound if you're playing the guitar on your own. I hope you've enjoyed this brief introduction to a really beautiful song, Father and Son, an all-time classic for singer guitar players. Bye for now. 